What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk more about this story from the Orlando Sentinel with a longtime Walt Disney World fan writing up a piece talking about how he and his family are frustrated with the new wokeness going on within the Disney theme parks and how it's ruining his and his family's experience. People that have supported this company for so many years and they are now checking out because of the political ideology and I think it's a fantastic piece and I covered it over on our Park Hoppin channel so please go subscribe to that channel it's Park Hoppin that's part of Geeks and Gamers we do a lot of coverage for theme parks we're in the theme parks consistently on that channel and we greatly appreciate your support we got a lot of things in the works over there but this story just continues to blow up it continues to get traction I'm seeing it everywhere the tweet itself from the Orlando Sentinel is getting so many responses and it's getting ratioed it's getting a lot of positive and negative responses and you would expect nothing but that from Twitter but it is crazy and I'm seeing Barstool Sports cover it I'm seeing the Daily Wire cover it I'm seeing it go everywhere so I wanted to cover it further here on this channel so here's the article itself I love Disney World, but wokeness is ruining the experience. I agree completely. I'm a longtime fan of Walt Disney World. I've been a longtime fan of it. It's my favorite theme park. I love going there because of the immersion, because it takes me away from the real world. It takes me out of the real world. And now recently we're seeing more real world stuff being implemented into the Disney parks experience. And that is ruining it for a lot of people. Um, my family and I have been loyal Disney customers for decades. We vacation at Disney World every year. We take a Disney cruise every year or two. Consequently, we spend way too much money in Orlando. Unfortunately, I am strongly rethinking our commitment to Disney and thus Orlando. The more Disney moves away from the values and vision of Walt Disney, the less Disney World means to me. Disney is forgetting that guest immersion is at the core of its business model. When I stand in Galaxy's Edge or Fantasyland, I know I am in a theme park, but through immersion and my willingness to set the the real world aside, something magical happens. Uh, that spell is broken when the immersive experience is shattered by the real world, and boy has Disney been breaking the immersion. Recently, Disney announced that cast members are now permitted to display tattoos, wear inclusive uniforms, and display inclusive haircuts. Disney did all of this in the name of allowing cast members to express themselves. And, you know, these are the same... I read this, this article over on, on Sports Wars. I saw this from Barstool. And a grown man says he can't go to Disney World anymore because of the immersion and fantasy is being ruined by wokeness. And you see the responses. He ain't wrong. Uh, wokeness even uh, ruins make-believe. Uh, he's not wrong. Uh, Disney is always ruined by its immersion by the Chinese slaves that make their toys. Uh, kids got a point. Those are the facts. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's right. He's right. Now, if you go to the tweet itself, the dude's getting absolutely ratioed. I mean, right now it's got 10,000 quote tweets. Let me back out. Let's see. Right now it's got 3,000 likes and it's got 8,000 comments. It's getting ratioed. The blue check mark brigade is there. There's a blue check mark. There's another blue check mark. There's a blue check mark. The blue check marks are there and they are not happy at all. They are very, very unhappy with this guy's take, which I fully agree with. Um, the problem is, I'm not traveling across the country and paying thousands of dollars to watch someone I did not know, or I do not know, express themselves. I am there for the immersion and the fantasy, not the reality of a stranger's self-expression. I do not begrudge these people for their individuality, and I wish them well in their personal lives, but I do not get to express my individuality at my place of business. What's next? Is Disney going to end the rule barring on stage cell phones used by cast members as an infringement of self-expression? And this is a point I made over on Park Hoppin, talking about how this is the problem with social justice. Once you start going down that rabbit hole, it never ends. And this is what happens when you pander to this group of people. It never, ever ends. Ever. Um, and, and it kind of gets more into it and talking about the Jungle Cruise. Uh, Trader Sam might be... Uh, uh, let's see, Trader Sam is out because he might offend certain people. Every grown-up in the room realizes that Trader Sam is not a representation of reality and is meant to be funny and silly caricature. Uh, it is no more based in racism than every Disney caricature in an out-of-touch white American dad. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, the next thing I write is Jungle Cruise. I will not be thinking about the gloriously entertaining puns of the skippers. I will be thinking about Disney's political agenda. That's a mood killer. It absolutely is. Disney proclaims that Splash Mountain must be changed because of its association with Song of the South. Disney owns Splash of the Mountain, so it can do what it wants. But if Disney screams at the top of its corporate voice, which is pretty loud, that it's changing it to appease a certain political point of view, now every time I look at the ride, I'm thinking about politics. The same with Pirates of the Caribbean. Disney made significant changes to Pirates of the Caribbean over the years. Whether Disney caved to political pressure or really thought the alterations were necessary is irrelevant. Pirates used to be one of my favorite attractions. My family would always ride it uh, in our first day at Magic Kingdom. Now, we do not even, uh, we don't ride it every trip. My family rides Pirates now. Uh, each of the changes seen, or when my family rides Pirates now, each of the change scenes takes us out of the illusion because they are reminded us of the reality and the politics that forced the changes. This dude is so on point. I mean, he's absolutely on point. Disney World is going to lose its customers if it continues down this path. I do not want to have Disney World taken away from us because Disney cares more about politics than happy guests. Uh, this should matter to the people of Orlando because if Disney drives customers away like me, Orlando loses money. I can take my tourist dollars elsewhere. I would rather keep spending them in Orlando. But people like me feel more and more excluded by Disney's decisions. The parks are less fun because immersion and thus... Uh, because of immersion, and thus the joy is taking a backseat to politics. Disney, please return your values uh, and vision, uh, the val values and vision of Walt. The customer experience should be the core of your business model. Immersion should not be sacrificed at the altar of political correctness and appeasing the Twitter mob. 100%. This guy is on point. He's 100% on point. And I understand he's facing a lot of criticism. But I 100% agree with him. And you have to stand up against the mob. The mob doesn't care about these things. The mob doesn't care about any of these things. The mob's not there to go to Disney World. They don't go to Disney parks. They don't buy toys. They don't go to movies. They just spend all day on social media being activists and pretending to be offended over something they do not care about. We've seen this time and time again. And it's happening in our theme parks. It's happening in our movies. It's happening in video games. It's happening across the board. And people are tired of it. It's happening in sports. It's happening everywhere. So I... I applaud this guy for standing up uh, against the mob. They're coming for him. They're probably going to dox him. They're probably going to, uh, they're probably going to do everything in their power to cancel him because this story is getting a lot of traction, and the blue checkmark brigade is after him. So I wanted to cover it here on this channel and offer my support um, because this person's going to need it because he is going to get absolutely wrecked by the Twitter mob. I can already see it. I can already see it. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, this is a common problem we have seen from Disney, from Lucasfilm, from Star Wars, from Marvel, from Hollywood in general, and we are tired of it. And now it's affecting the theme parks. Imagine going to a theme park, a place that you want to get away from all of your everyday troubles, the stress of everyday life. This is why Disney World has meant so much to me over the years, because when I go there, it would take me away from these things. Now when I go there, I'm constantly reminded of all of the real world stuff that I want to get away from. That's not how the theme park experience should be. That's not how the movie experience should be. That's not how the video game experience should be. Stop hiring activists. Stop bowing to a Twitter mob that doesn't care about your company. And start realizing that the fans that made your company what it is are the fans that you need to pander to. Check us out over on geesandgamers.com, our website. We appreciate all of your support over there. Free to join. And for $10 a month, you can become a premium member. That gets you exclusive access to a lot of our content. And let me tell you, we have a lot going on and a lot of announcements we're going to make in the near future. But we're not ready to make those announcements yet. But your support on the website means the world to us. Subscribe to Park Hoppin'. You guys have a great day. And we will talk to you later.